Jesus did that through his people working with him. 1 Corinthians 6, 17 says, He or she that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. I would chew on that one for the rest of my life. That's so amazing. It also says in the New Testament that we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Well, Jesus is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty in a place of authority and power. And if we're seated in him, then we also are seated in a place of authority and power. And from that place, we operate and we sort of enforce and bring the kingdom of heaven into our everyday lives and those around us. And in the kingdom of heaven, there's no sickness, there's no disease, there's no defeat and depression and poverty, etc. The kingdom of heaven, the way it is in heaven, is the way that we are given the privilege of operating and bringing into this world right here. Hmm, good, huh? Okay, uh, I'll tell you one more story. There was a guy named Amos. He was the father of a girl that we were working with. Uh, we had a ministry where we went out onto the streets and took clothing and furniture and, and different things like that out and knocked on doors and said, hey, we got this stuff for free. You know anybody who could use it? And we met some people, a lot of wonderful people through that. We got to lead a lot of folks to the Lord. We didn't have to shove anything down their throat because they were asking us because they saw God operating and loving them through bringing them things that they needed. Um, we met this guy named Amos, and um, this is kind of a funny story. I haven't seen Amos for a while. Um, he came to our church services, and one day before church started, he came up to me and he said, Pastor Marguerite, um, I'd like y'all to pray for me, you know, at the end of the service when you pray for folks. I'd like you to pray for me. And I said, sure, Amos, we'd be glad to. And so he came up afterwards with some other people, and he said, I'm having trouble. He said, I can't hear out of this ear. And he said, I'm having trouble hearing out of this one now. And this is serious. He said, I'm having trouble hearing. And he said, I've lost about 80%, the doctor said, in this ear. And so... We stood there in our healing team of believers in Jesus and oneness with the Lord. We stood there and, and we ministered healing to Amos. We didn't know the details. And after a while, I said to him, I said, Amos, um, how's, your, how's it going? What's changed? How are you hearing? And he had wide eyes. He said, well, I'm hearing out of this ear. He said, I'm hearing perfectly out of this ear. I said, great. How about the other one? He said, well... I'd say I've got about, I don't know, 50% in this here. I said, okay, well, that's wonderful. So we're seeing God work. That's wonderful. And uh, I said, you know, in the Bible, Jesus prayed for the blind man. And it says that he, after prayer, saw men as trees walking. <laughs> and then he wasn't seeing very clearly. And so Jesus said, let's pray again. And he prayed again with the man. And then it said he could see perfectly clearly. I said, so, all right, so Amos, let's don't get stressed. I mean, we're glad that the Lord's already done good stuff here, but let's keep praying and let him finish. So after a few more moments of letting the Lord flow, his healing power flow, um, <laughs> Amos, I said, how are you? And he said, he said, great. I said, how are you hearing? He said, well, I, like I said, I'm hearing perfectly out of this one. Now I'm hearing perfectly out of this one. I said, well, that's wonderful. I said, now tell me about what was wrong with your ears? And he said, well, he said, when I was a kid, and this guy was probably 50, 60. Um, he said, when I was a kid, he said, uh, this ear got burst. It was ruptured. And he said, I haven't been able to hear out of it ever since. <laughs> I said, so in other words, your eardrum exploded and you didn't have a functional working eardrum over here. And he said, right. And I said, and you're hearing out of that ear now? I wish the screen would quit freezing. And he said, yeah, perfectly. And I was like, whoa, you know, 
that could have intimidated us a little if we had known the man had not heard in 40 or 50 years out of that ear because he didn't have an eardrum anymore. <laughs> but we didn't know, and we just didn't let stuff like that bother us. We still don't. So Amos was, God gave him a new eardrum. That's a creative miracle. That's not even a healing only. That's a creative miracle. God had to make him a new eardrum. And this side over here, he said, I have been able to hear out. This is the only one I could hear out of. And he said, and uh, I lost 80% in it. So I was in a bad way. And he said, I'm here perfectly out of this one now, too. And I said, well, thank God. But we've seen miracles and lots of them. And I'm going to teach you all how to operate in this place and how to receive miracles for yourself. And it's not hard. It really isn't. This is good news. So thank you all for joining me today. If you'd like to email me, let me know you're watching. My email address is margueriteart at mac.com. I'll spell it for you. M-A-R-G-U-E-R-I-T-E, art, as in A-R-T, at mac, which is M-A-C dot com. And I'm going to be uh, getting a website up again. Uh, the Lord's had me in a time of waiting and praying and seeking Him and new direction. And so I'm just getting started on this new direction now. And thank you all so much for joining me today. And let's pray together before we go. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your good news. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for what Christmas is all about, that you loved us. And so you sent your son to rescue us out of our mess. And we thank you, Lord, for bringing us back into personal, intimate relationship with you, a real living, breathing experience with you. We give you all the thanks and all the praise for everything you're doing in our lives and all that you will be doing. I ask, Holy Spirit, that the things that you've spoken through me today and the things that you've spoken to the hearts of people directly as they listen today, that you'll seal it and keep it in them and not let it be stolen and bring forth a lot of good stuff from it. All to your glory, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day. See you soon.